friends, welcome back to my bathroom. I wanna show you really quickly how to correctly mix up lightener or bleach by yourself. In a separate video, which I'll link down below, I'm gonna show you how to do a root retouch on just your part line for those in-between sessions. And we're gonna be using bleach for that. The lightener that I'm gonna be using today is one of my favorites right now. It's from Sally's Color Brilliance Bright White, but I'll put the Amazon link below if it's available. This is a cream lightener, so it can go directly on the scalp or you can just use it in foils like we're gonna do later. It doesn't really matter which developer you use. The one I'm gonna be using today is Pravana 20 volume, just because that's all I have. Most lighteners are a one to two ratio, meaning if I use one part lightener, I'm gonna use two parts developer. You do wanna read the back or the manufacturer's directions just to make sure because some of them are different. But in our case for this Color Brilliance Ion one, it is one to two. So we're gonna do one part of this, two parts of liquid. You'll wanna grab any kind of bowl but metal. A glass cereal bowl is fine. In the salon, we would use an actual scale and weigh this, but since we're in our bathroom here, we're going to be using a measuring device, this half a TBSP. I only need a little bit for my little retouch application here. So I'm gonna go with this one today, but grab whatever you need, a fourth of a cup. Is that too much? That might be too much, I don't know. You be the judge, but grab some sort of measuring device. You wanna to try to refrain from using the eyeball method especially with lightener. So here we go, we're gonna fill this sucker up. Woo! Put it in the bowl. Now you wanna take some sort of brush. I'm using an 11 year old hair color brush. It's just my favorite, it just looks kinda of wacky. You can use a makeup brush, but you wanna make sure if you're using one that it's kinda of flat and not curved. So if you're using the cream, tap it around. If you're using the actual powder, take a whisk and whisk it around. Kind of like when you're actually baking, you would sift the flour before you add the wet ingredients. You wanna do the same thing with hair color or bleach. Now we're gonna shake this and we're gonna add two of these, one to two ratio. So here's one in the bowl and here's two in the bowl. And then you just mix it around. Now you should have something that kind of looks like this, royal icing. It shouldn't like fly off the brush when you lift it up. It should kind of stick there a little bit. Some people like their lightener to be extremely thick when they're putting it in foil so it doesn't slippery slope out. For me, I kind of like it just this consistency where it's not too thick, not too thin, kind of in the middle, you know what I mean? But you be the judge. If it's obviously too thin, you need to add a little bit more powder lightener or cream lightener and just add more lightener. If it's too thick, you can dilute it a little bit with water or add more developer. All right, so that's it, super easy. If you have any questions, comment them below. I'll see you later this week for this actual root retouch application. Hopefully we'll get to some extension videos and on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, I don't know what we're doing then, but we're doing something fun. See you next time.